Hello everybody, welcome back to CorkinJava.com. We got something pretty interesting for you today. They're pre-made individual size cocktails called Buzz Balls. We got two different flavors we're trying out. We got the Choco Chiller, as well as the Espresso Martini. We're gonna be trying these out and we're gonna be telling you all the other kinds that they have and all about what these things are. So stick around. Hello everybody, welcome to CorkandJava.com. We are your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when all of our future videos come out. Awesome. So like we said, we got these two buzz balls, which are essentially personalized canned balls cocktails. of cocktails. And what are all the different kinds that they come with? Well, there are a million different options here. I'm not going to read you all the lists, but there's basically anything from like a pina colada Margaritas. to a margarita to um, espresso martini, chili mango. I mean, like there's like every flavor under the sun. Choco chiller, which I'm not yes. a big fan of chocolate milk, everything so from I, I don't know. Fruity to savory to I mean, like it's like everything. So this will be interesting. We're starting off with the choco chiller. Okay. I'm what not. The, it says. Whoa. It says orange, what? orange, orange and glad wine. Say banana. Orange wine with cream and natural flavors. Fifteen percent alcohol. Yeah, so these are kind of a uh, little bit loaded. Can you hear me, napkin? Yes. All right. So I'm not a big fan of what is it? Yahoo! Those chocolate milk can things. This is yeah. what it reminds me of. Color, <laughs> not very appetizing. But okay. I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it just it reminds me of like Bailey's and Kahlua. And yeah, I was gonna say stuff, this is almost like a Bailey smell. Yeah, creamy beige. Can I drink it? Mmm, that's Ooh. actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Mmm. It's sweet. It tastes almost like a brownie to me, like mm, a liquid brownie. Yeah. And the alcohol. Boozy brownie though. You could definitely taste the alcohol. You could taste a little bit of alcohol. Like I would not guess this is 15% alcohol by volume. Like just based on like the hint of it that I'm getting through there, it's probably just a, you know, uh, like a vodka or very neutral spirit. And um, it's barely coming through. There's probably so much sugar packed into this to basically mask I would say it's alcohol. barely coming through. Like I can taste, I mean, you're not gonna have an overt sense of alcohol with anything. There's no burning or flavor. anything. Yeah, but I mean, there is, I mean, it is, it's like drinking like a Bailey's Kahlua type thing. Like you can still, there's something that's a little bit different about it. Yeah, it's creamy. It's uh, got a good, it's a good chocolate flavor. Like mm -hmm. I'm really picky with my chocolate. I do not like chocolate milk. I do not like chocolate ice cream. Um, I do not like chocolate pudding, and, and this I is like good. It all. I like it's regular all. chocolate. I like dark <laughs> chocolate, but and this is very good, mm -hmm. which I am very surprised. Just based on the color, I was like, oh no, this is. But yeah, I, I really like it. So if you're into like those mudslides mm -hmm. and stuff like that, this is baller. We we got this all at Food Lion, right? Yeah, these are from Food Lion. Uh, the company is a women-owned business from Texas. It said, I, th I think it was a winery, distillery, and a couple other things out somewhere in Texas, so. Let's shake well. All right, so now we're on to the espresso martini, which is one I was excited for because I love coffee. Making a mess again. Yeah, I think these are meant to be like drank They're individual, right yeah. Out I mean, of... It's as if you're drinking a can of, you know, Coke or yeah. something and it's um, very messy if you want to pour them out. Why are you stacking them? This looks very uh, dangerous. <laughs> it was easy to stack before I opened them. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. So let's smell this one. Definitely has the coffee smell to it. But it still mm. has a hint of like chocolatey smell to it. It's not very strong. Like 
when I think of my espresso in the morning, it's got a lot of aroma. Although this is chilled and that's hot, so that's gonna make a difference. Yeah. And also, you're just drinking straight espresso in the morning. This is not straight espresso. True. Yeah, let's, let's give this a try. All right. Oh, it's not bad either, actually. It tastes like a coffee ice cream and mm. kind of like a um, if you poured extra espresso over top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> I am so surprised right now. So <laughs> I'm really, really picky again with my coffee flavored drinks. Most of them... I find to be pretty terrible. Um, but this is really good. This doesn't taste like fake instant coffee or, mm -hmm. you know, even like drip cheap coffee. This tastes like a real espresso, but of course loaded with sugar. Yeah. It's very but tasty. It's delicious. Yeah. Is this it's also 15%? Really good. Yep. Yeah. Another, you know, high ABV. This will get you right. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I assume it probably does have caffeine in it as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But yeah, I'm. If I see some of these in the store, some of the other flavors, I'm definitely gonna be. Picking yeah, some I up. saw these on like an end cap, you know, like the end of the aisle, and I think it was like um, two for six dollars or something like. Like, I mean, they were relatively cheap. Like, you're not gonna get a cocktail at a bar for three dollars, so. Um, I figured why not? Yeah, yeah, this is, I think, you know, a really great idea and I think they executed it. Yeah, on it I know, well. actually, I really want to try some of the other flavors now. They had like a strawberry or a watermelon one and um, I don't usually go for pina coladas, but they had one of those. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be perfectly honest. We've had this, these in our fridge probably for how many months? A probably few months, two, two yeah. months and I, every time I open and look at them, I'm like, uh, I'm dreading having to try these uh, on the channel because, I don't know, they didn't look appetizing to me and I like, I have some trust issues. <laughs> so, uh, I, I was so pleasantly surprised with how, yeah. how good these actually are. I know, I would, I would actually like, if I need a cocktail at home, and I don't feel like making it and throwing the ingredients together, this is great. <laughs> I would totally go this route. I know. Like, yeah, this is great. Especially if you like throw a garnish on top, people wouldn't even know. <laughs> Shoot, put these in my stocking if you want to, um, <laughs> stocking stuff. <laughs> if you want to put something in my stocking this year, <laughs> you want to give me something, just throw a couple of these buzz balls <laughs> yeah. in there. That'll be perfect. Another thing you can do for us for Christmas <laughs> is give us that thumbs up, follow us on Facebook, <laughs> Pinterest, Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. And until next time guys, bottoms up. Mm -hmm.